Hello friends, uh, there is one more hot news from the JNTUH regarding the conduction of uh, mid-examinations as well as lab examinations for the second sem. So before going to the video, uh, please subscribe our channel and like our videos, share our videos. If you have any uh, comments or uh, queries related to the content, you can post it in the comment box. Please subscribe our channel. So uh, JNT issued guidelines, uh, they have uh, posted a circular dating 5-10-2020 uh, 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 for both the B.Tech as well as B-Pharmacy and M.Tech and N-Pharmacy. Uh, I think these circulars have been posted yesterday night, uh, midnight or uh, maybe today morning uh, because we have checked the uh, update uh, yesterday night but it was not appeared. But now morning when it was uh, these, uh, these circulars are present. Uh, this other one, what they have posted is schedule of various activities related to B.Tech, B-Pharmacy. Uh, regular and supplementary examinations, spell 3 also they have given and uh, these eligible candidates for gold medals in uh, 9th convocation that is uh, already existing yesterday but these three are new things so let us see one by one uh, what JNT has uh, okay, uh, I mean given the circular so coming to this uh, uh, this is a letter issued by the V. Kamakshi Prasad uh, Director of Evaluation JNTH uh, dated 5-10-2020 which is to guiding uh, his principles, all the principles of constituent and affiliate, affiliated colleges. So the subject is uh, uh, schedule of various activities related to B.Tech, B.Pharm, first, second, third year, second semester examinations. As four two examinations have all be, already over in spell one. Now uh, they are planning to conduct the regular examinations of uh, first year, first sem, second year, second sem, and third year, second sem exams uh, in November 2020. So they have given a notification for this. So for this, uh, already the uh, registrations have been over, uh, but still uh, if uh, somebody misses the registration, they have uh, given a chance to register with the late fee. Uh, before uh, 30th September, uh, it was uh, 2000 and before 3rd uh, 3rd level, November 3rd, it is uh, something like 5000. Uh, so like this, they have uh, given the detailed schedule, okay, and uh, the schedule and the dates they have given uh, corresponding uh, uh, what are the activities that have to do the colleges. So that means that it, with this process, it is clear that the JNT will be conducting um, the exams, spell 3 exams and in spell 3, the exams that will be conducted are all regular and supplementary examinations corresponding to the second semester. That is first year, second semester, second year, second semester, third year, second semester. So first year, second semester means semester system is started from R16 regulations. So only R16 and R18 students are eligible for this. Whereas other regulations, it is year wise. So the year wise examinations of first supplementary will be conducting in spell 2 only. So in this spell 3, there will be second semester examination. First year, second uh, semester, second year, second semester and third year, second semester for all the B.Tech, B.Pharmacy. Okay. So then uh, they have given the exam center preference to collect and upload in between 8th, 10th, 2020 to 14th, 10th, uh, 2020 and the final list of the student allotment to different centers will be made available from uh, 2010. So complete allotment of the centers will be completed uh, by 20th, 10th. Uh, 2020. So, everything for every activity JNT has released the uh, schedule. Uh, this is one circular. Then the other one is uh, regarding the conduction of lab examinations for uh, B.Tech as well as B.Pharmacy. So, this is also letter issued by Dr. V. Kamakshi Prasad, Director of Evaluation uh, yesterday only. So, now what it is uh, telling is uh, uh, so, exam branch guidelines for conducting mid-exams and external lab exams. Okay. So, they have uh, cited the previously uh, issued letter that is on 4-6-2020. So, this letter is available in our uh, YouTube uh, channel also. You can see the, our previous videos, uh, what, is, what is the matter that is covered in that particular video. So, what this particular letter is uh, stating is, the principals are informed to note that the lab external examinations of 1-2-2-2-3-2 B.Tech B-Pharmacy courses should be either conducted at the parent college or college which uh, is the neighborhood of uh, residence of the student. So they can appear for the lab ex external examinations either in the parent college or the college which is near to their staying place. So that these options JNT is giving. In the lines of similar to final semester exams, uh, the preferences of exam centers for which the lab exams may be uh, collected from the students. So uh, the way in which they have collected these center preferences for final year for two uh, um, students, in similar manner, the JNT is asking to give the center preferences for uh, lab examinations also. So these preferences may be uploaded in the university portal on or before 14th 11. So they have given the time up to 14th 11 
so till november 14th uh, they can uh, they can uh, collect the center preferences and uh, they have to upload in the university portal the btech b pharmacy colleges may choose to conduct the lab external examinations of 1 2 2 2 3 2 may be preferably conducted on the single day so they uh, they are, what they are insisting is uh, try, because there will be two labs in general in general there will be two labs there may be different in first year but uh, coming to the 2 2 3 2 each and every student will have two two labs so both the labs should be conducted on a similar day so that means forenoon in the morning session one lab exam in the afternoon session another lab exam so that the students no need to travel uh, two times okay so if they conduct in different days then two times student need to travel in order to avoid avoid that uh, additional day travel travel what uh, they are preferring is they are insisting the colleges to conduct the two lab exams on a single day so that in one day the exams will be completed for each student and uh, <coughs> this is to give the comfort of the students and this examination should be scheduled during from 28th to 112 28th 11 2022 112 that means in between november 28th to december 1st uh, these lab exams needs to be conducted for all the students under jntuh then the second midterm examinations of btech b pharmacy of 1 2 2 2 and 3 2 shall be conducted and the dates will be from 6 10 2022 30 1 10 2020 this is the actually previously mentioned circular so this information is already mentioned in this particular circular on 4 6 2020 and they have given the guidelines to conduct the like uh, lab examination sorry uh, this uh, particular examination second mid examination if the colleges choose to conduct the viva voice mode then the following guidelines may be followed two faculty members should act as examiners for each subject the viva exam and evaluation must be done candidate wise two examiners and one student must be in online mode at the same time all the video processing must be recorded each examiner should ask a minimum five questions for each student if a student answers a question to assess the depth of understanding a few ancillary questions on the same questions may also be asked the viva exam question should be assess the conceptual understanding of the subject and should be difficult to predict the questions by the student the examiner should be evaluate independently and submit their marks to the head of the department uh, or the section or class in charge. The marks awarded by two examiners are averaged to compute the marks of the mid two examinations of each student. So these are the guidelines issued and uh, there will be no online classes uh, of ad odd semesters of BTEC B pharmacy from 5-11 to 27-11 due to 1-2-2-2-3-2 regular examinations. So the academic calendar will be modified and accordingly. So they have given the dates for conducting the mid-examinations and also for conducting the uh, different different examinations uh, which are pending. So this circulars will be available with all the colleges. This is another one. So the most important thing is that JNT has issued the circular to conduct the lab exa external examinations which needs to be conducted from November 28th to December 1st and also it is insisting to uh, it is interesting to conduct the second midterm examinations from 6 10 to 31 10 2020 and in order to conduct the lab examinations they are asking the student preferences the students can attend the lab examinations in either in their parent college or in the college which is near to their place so for this the jnt is collecting uh, the preferences in the centers uh, if you if you won't prefer anything then by default your parent college will become the your center so this is the second circular coming to other one this is regarding the conduction of exams for mtech m pharmacy mtech m pharmacy theory exams will be completing in spell 2 but uh, they have to attend their lab examinations so conducting mid examinations and external lab examinations is pending so in order to conduct uh, this they have given the time that this exam needs to be conducted from 7 11 to 10 11 so from november 7th to november 11 2020 this exam needs to be conducted whereas the midterm examinations will be conducted from 6 10 to 11 10 uh, that is uh, on the similar method uh, for uh, like uh, how the beat exams will be conducted in similar manner they have issued the guidelines to conduct the uh, mid examination for the m tech m pharmacy or uh, mba or mca also so these are all the three important circulars they have issued so once again i am just uh, summarizing the first and foremost important thing is that jnt has given the schedule detailed schedule for uh, 
conduction of spell 3 examinations in spell 3 examinations there will be all second semester examinations that is 1 2 2 2 and 3 2 semester exams will be conducted that is the summary of the first letter then second letter they have issued the guidelines to conduct the lab external as well as the uh, mid 2 examinations for btech b pharm c courses and in third letter they have issued the guidelines for conducting of uh, mid examinations of external lab exams and uh, of uh, mtech m pharmacy uh, pharmd and MBA or M3 